morning and thank you for waking up with Edie Darling. I truly count it a joy and a blessing to come before you each day speaking life into your life. Well, this morning I'm with my friend Jackie and good morning, Jackie. Good morning. How are you? I am good. Good. Well, Jackie and I have been friends for many years mm -hmm. and she has gone this journey with me. And I asked her if she would be willing to give a morning wake up message to you. So Jackie, what would you say to someone um, this morning on this journey to help them? Start your day with him. Um, and when I say him, it's Jesus. Um, I didn't get to know him till I was 38 years old and I was in a hospital and a dear friend um, laid a Bible on the shelf. We had a son who was very, very sick, and we had heard that um, he was going to die. He had a year. And uh, as a mother, um, no one wants to go through that. Um, but as I opened that book, uh, the Bible, that maybe you don't have one, go purchase one, or uh, maybe it's on the shelf, dust it off and read it. Uh, as I start reading, God started speaking to me. And the first words he ever said to me were in a story about Martha and Mary. And Martha was so worried about what she was doing and um, the house and everything, because Jesus had come to their house and her sister Mary was sitting at his feet. And Martha was so mad that Mary was not her, um, helping her. And she wanted to say, Jesus, tell her to help me. Well, I was that kind of person. I was a mother who was like, my husband's not helping me. I got all this work. I got this child. And it wasn't until I was in a hospital that I could see this precious gift that I didn't want to die. And God had given it to me. And as I look back now, the work that I had back then is nothing what I have now, but he has given me a joy, and that joy comes from making Jesus first, others second, and myself last. And it's not something that happens overnight. It's something that you grow into. But as I read that Bible, I saw something, and he spoke to me, and I allowed him into my heart. I opened the doors. And Jesus has been my savior for since I was 38 years old. And he's placed it on my heart to teach our children. Our children are seeing a world very different today. Lots of messages, lots of things out there that um, are not all of God. And it's uh, our responsibility as parents, and especially as older women. I'm gonna be 59 this year, and I realize um, I am to help the younger women. I'm to teach the children uh, before the Lord takes me home. And uh, I just um, give him the praise. Um, I was reading this morning, uh, Philippians 4. It says, rejoice and do not be anxious. And it reminds me of those words he kept saying, do not worry, Jackie. Do not worry, I have this. Uh, walking with the Lord is truly trusting him and not rejoicing when you have that child that's healed. Because <laughs> we do have a child that's healed and he just turned 24. And I've seen amazing miracles. And not everybody is blessed in those ways. Um, I am grateful and thankful, uh, realizing that... Uh, he grows us each differently, and we're each different. We're to love each other um, as brothers and sisters in Christ. We're each different. Yes. Um, as you can see, me and Edie are very different, and she has taught me to be a bolder Christian. Yes. Not keep quiet, but share him with others. And I thank him for our friendship. He's, um, we've been separated. Uh, she's in a different area, and... Uh, um, I'm up here, but it's growing those personal relationships, sharing him, sharing his love, and, um, and not being anxious, yeah. believing and trusting and knowing 
uh, that he is in control and making him first in your life and you will see amazing things. I have seen amazing things and he gets the glory mm -hmm. and I just praise him and I'm reminded as I was hearing this morning, rejoice. Rejoice always, even through those trials. Surround yourself with other believers. Um, find a church uh, that speaks the word and um, have that close fellowship with others that can help you through those, through those trials. Because truly, um, it was the people he placed around me that has helped me through every trial. And one of them is my dear friend, Edie. <laughs> I am so thankful. She helped me through several trials and um, speaking his word to me, helping and just being a friend. Uh, truly, Jesus wants to be our friend. He wants to have a relationship with us. And uh, I am so thankful that I can call him my friend. He is my savior. Uh, he's the Christ. And I have not been the same since I opened my heart up to him. Um, and through him, I have gotten to know our Heavenly Father. And um, uh, I pray they do as well. Amen. Amen. Well, my <laughs> friends, I pray this message has blessed you today as it has blessed my soul. I say peace and blessings be unto you. Peace and blessings. Thank you, Jackie. Amen. Love you. Love you too. <laughs>